300 flights per day, serving 14 million passengers a year, and even acknowledged as one of the best airports for dangerous cargo transportation. Noi Airport is undoubtedly an important gateway that connects Hanoi with other cities in Vietnam and other countries worldwide. But recently, a survey by sleepinginairports.net ranked Hanoi Bay as one of the 10 worst airports in Asia, quoting the airport for being hot, chaotic, and not especially clean. These shortcomings were accepted by the airport's management in a recent interview. The shortcomings of the airport come from two problems, namely poor infrastructure and human resources. In terms of human resource quality, there are three existing problems, including a lack of responsibility among staff, a poor attitude towards passengers, and bad quality management and supervision. In a meeting with the airport authority, Minister of Transport Ding La Tang stressed that the lack of cooperation among relevant airport agencies was the biggest problem. Cooperation among airport agencies has been weak. The number of check-in counters is limited, but with proper collaboration, the airport could easily handle passenger demand. But now I don't see that. In fact, an action plan with the aim of improving service quality at Noibai Airport began a year ago. Passengers received quick service and smiles instead of cold faces passengers described years ago. Leaders of Noibai International Airport have established an action committee to improve service quality and plans have been carried out in different phases. Our passenger surveys reveal that there have been improvements. Of course, we need to try harder to reach our targets and meet customers' expectations. Along with improvements in terms of staff attitudes, the leaders of Nobai Airport also slashed the unbelievably high service prices, paid attention to hygiene issues, and even provided free drinking water and internet access to passengers. The installation of new surveillance cameras has also helped the airport authority closely monitor all the possible issues. So here I am in the control room of Noibai International Airport. And here, as I can see, the newly installed cameras together with the old system will allow the security officers to closely monitor every area in the airport. And that is among the efforts to improve security and especially the service quality here in this international airport. I've noticed some changes. First, the attitude of the airport staff is better. Second, prices have been adjusted to a reasonable level. Also, the airport is much cleaner. The service has been fine. Um, we went through check-in very quickly, we went through security very quickly. The bathrooms are clean, the waiting area is comfortable. Um, I didn't use the Wi-Fi, but I saw the sign. And in another meeting with the airport authorities, Minister of Transport Ding La Tang valued the progresses, but still urged the airport's management to try harder. And finally, it is hoped with the expansion of Noibai Airport with its 900 million US dollar Terminal 2, that the bad reputation of the airport has been saddled with will diminish. With the construction of T2 Terminal to be completed in about a month and a half, the pressure to the T1 Terminal will be reduced. And along with other efforts, including installing new security camera system, the ventilation system, and providing new free services, passengers are likely to enjoy their flight when they travel through Noibai International Airport. And this may be another step to help the airports move out the list of those with low quality service in Asia. Guang Vietnam Television.